at certain points in time, he sped up and he tried to like jump directly on the on the back of the bike. So the bike is slow enough to slow him down. It's not slow enough to make him out of action. These guys on the bike, the SUV, they don't, you know, they, you can't weigh it out. But what he's trying to do is slow the, the driver down so the other bikes can go by. He's, he's, he was reckless. All the way through, he was reckless from lane to lane, lane to lane. And this is not being shown. And to make it seem like the guy that got ran over, it was his fault, it's totally false and it's wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. How about, um, so 34 seconds in, shortly thereafter, SUV takes off mowing down motorcycles. Did you, you actually saw that happen? I had just passed. You had just passed? Just passed. Okay. Um, in talking with other bikers afterwards, maybe who saw it, what, what was, what was their reaction? It was horrific. Horrific. Like, when this guy got on, he was asked several times as best as you can from a motorcycle trying to communicate with somebody in the car. Ask to slow down, calm down. He's going from lane to lane, lane to lane, lane to lane, speeding up. You know, on the back of bikes, like the dude was trying to slow him down. Like, yo, just slow down, calm down, slow down, slow down. I, me, my, at one point in time, I was riding on the side of the SUV and be, and riding close enough to look him in his face and give him a nod to like, slow down. I'm looking at that in the car. It's right, uh, what you call it, the rear view mirror. That was already busted out prior. Nobody hit his car. Nobody did anything like that. Once he swerved at me, myself, I just kept it going. I was like, this guy's crazy. I've seen it too many times on the highway as it is with other cars involved in bikes. So I just kept it moving. And that's exactly what happened. Right? So so when you got a look at the SUV, did you see his, his uh, wife? And his yeah, she was in the passenger seat. His hand was actually on his face, just like this. And I looked at him, he looked at me. One hand right here, other hand on his face. And um, did you, did, were you able to tell if his wife was like, Hysteric or anything? Yeah. Was Nobody was looking hard. frantic or anything. He looked at more frustrated. And he couldn't pass through the bikes. More frustrated. And this is why I nodded from, you know, calm down. Have you ever dealt with anything? I mean, obviously not this bad, but do you have to deal with this on large rides like this? Is there? Usually, you know, when you're on a large ride like this, it's really organized and everything. You have a special riders that's called road captains. They go and they keep the bikes in one lane or maybe to two lanes. And they keep the cars flowing past them or whatever, and they stop ahead and they lock off the exits onto the highway so motorists don't get on and, you know, involve themselves with the bikes. Right. So that's how, you know, we deal with it a lot, but sometimes you get erratic drivers that, for whatever reason, just don't like bikers and go, want to, you know, race a bike or whatever, do whatever they, you know. Right. So tell me about the end again. You said, you know, pure, pure emotion, rage. Um, what does it feel like? Because it, it, I mean, you guys are a group, you know, you're a, you're, right. you're, you're a brotherhood of sorts. So right. what, what, what's that, well, what's that like? I mean, obviously no one went out that day thinking that was going to happen. No, nah, it was just a, a, a day to come together as a brotherhood and unity and show love to every borough. But when you see something like that happen and actually be riding along with somebody and then they get run over by an SUV, it hurts. It really hurts. It hurts. The guy run, run you over the SUV. It hurts. What's the biggest message to you? The biggest message is patience. It's the highways and road. It's enough for sharing. Respect us. We respect you. We don't have no problem with you guys riding around. Just a little patience. Patience. You know what I'll do is just get what we call cutaway shots. So, um...